assume that adults have IQ scores that are normally distributed with a mean of 100.9 and a standard deviation of 24.4. Find the first quartile, which is the IQ score separating the bottom 25% from the top 75%. All right, so the first quartile, so it's important to note that the first quartile is the X value. So the horizontal axis is X. And we're looking for this particular X value that separates the top 75% from the bottom 25%. So the areas are 0.25 and 0.75. And not exactly drawn to scale, but, but it's all right. And we have a mean of 100.9 and a standard deviation of 24.4. Now we don't have to convert to z-scores because Excel has a function for the non-standard normal distribution. So the function, the Excel function for finding an x value, if you know area to the left of that x value. So the, the 0.25 is the area to the left. Area to the left is the 0.25. So the function in Excel for this is the normal, is the inverse of the normal distribution function. Or you could say equal norm dot inv. That's the normal inverse function. And now, Excel is asking us in parentheses for three things. The probability, the mean, and the standard deviation. The probability is the area. That's the 0.25. And we're given the mean and the standard deviation. All right, so probability, area to the left of the x value that we want is 0.25. The mean is 100.9 and the standard deviation is 24.4 and that should do it. And we should probably round this to uh, one decimal place because the other values are rounded to one decimal place. So it looks like 84.4 is the IQ score that is the 25th percentile or 84.4 is above 25% of all IQ scores and below the other 75%. Okay, that does it for this problem. Using Excel is nice and easy. There's not much work to do. Um, the, the graph isn't necessary, but I always recommend drawing the graph uh, in problems like this, especially any problems that deal with a normal distribution. I always recommend if it's a normal distribution probability problem, I always recommend drawing the graph. All right. I hope this was helpful.